Hello everyone and welcome back to the Glassnode channel. A couple of weeks ago we announced the launch of 28 new pioneering on-chain metrics for Bitcoin and Ethereum. These make up part of a groundbreaking suite which provides unprecedented depth into the most critical areas of on-chain analysis. And before we jump in and take a closer look at a couple of the charts, I just want to give you a brief overview of what these metrics actually are, what they consist of and why they hold a lot of value. So we've taken our most fundamental metrics such as SOPA, NVRV, and Realized Cap, just to name a few. We've added detailed breakdowns to them in the form of age of holdings and wallet size distributions. And by doing this, we now have a level of granularity for our most critical metrics that is not available anywhere else. This enables investors to gain insights into the capital flows and evolving market sentiment that spans across different timeframes, signaling early market trends, potential risk signals, and potential entry and exit points. So the first chart that we're gonna look at is actually the first chart that features in the most recent week on chain newsletter. It's a relatively simple chart, just to give us some context, and it shows the realized losses from both the long-term holder and short-term holder cohorts. Long-term holders here are in blue, and the short-term holders are shown here in red. And the most important takeaway here is if we look back to the previous bull runs is that during these market uptrends, it's the short term holder cohort that is pretty much the sole group who are locking in these losses. So if we were looking to identify points of seller exhaustion or local bottoms during these market uptrends, short term holders are the ones to be watching. With that in mind, we can turn to our new age breakdown metrics, which allow us to analyze this cohort on a much more granular level. So the chart that we have in front of us is the Bitcoin weekly to monthly seller exhaustion composite. It focuses on weekly to monthly traders and is made up of three signals that include NVRV, SOPA and realized loss. And the goal of this chart is to identify periods of seller exhaustion across a monthly time frame. And this is highlighted on the chart when all three of these signals are firing in conjunction. And what's really worth noting is that these inflection points or points of seller exhaustion tend to reverberate upwards from smaller time frames through to larger time frames. And while we may be able to get some insights from this chart alone, the value that the age breakdown metrics bring to the table is that we're able to apply this framework that we have here across all time periods from daily traders to weekly to monthly to seasonal traders. And that allows us to effectively build conviction and in this instance, track the pain that's spreading across these age cohorts. Because if there is a confluence there, then it indicates that the loss in the market has continued to spread down and down to investors who who are relatively less sensitive to price moves. And this is extremely helpful for finding these inflection points during market corrections and consolidations that happen in a dominant bull trend. We recently released a dashboard that you can find under the signal section on Glassnode Studio. It's called Identifying Seller Exhaustion Across Multiple Timeframes. Here you can find the previous charts and the framework that we've been looking at applied to all of the other age cohorts, making it the best place to isolate and analyze these individual subsets of investors. If you want to learn more or dive deeper into the subject, then I heavily recommend checking out the latest Week on Chain newsletter. I can leave a link to it below if you want to give it a read. In the meantime, we'll be back again soon with more on-chain updates from Glassnode.